What's going on, everybody? So I wanted to start this video a little different than we usually do and kind of explain some things that's going on. So when we first started this channel, the main idea was to pump out content so people didn't have to wait. We wanted to be a channel where people could follow along and have something to just constantly, you know, get their fed fix. So we specialize in pumping out storylines, and I know a lot of the matches end up being short or just highlights because we're just constantly evolving, constantly moving the storylines. And I know a lot of people like that. They appreciate, you know, the, the consistency of the channel. There will be full-length matches, even full-length events coming up in the future, but we just got to get there first. So for right now, what I'm aiming to do is something I've wanted to do for a really long time, and we almost did it with the Blackout event, and that's just have an ultimate video of just ultimate match highlights, just crazy action going on all over the place. It's a way to get some matches out, further storylines, but also just let me get a little bit of a reset and a break. So that's what's going on with this TWFC Grand Prix tournament. Of course, right now, one of the main storylines is that guy right there, Evan Bourne, the TWFC champion. He's basically had a complete character switch, turned heel, trying to take over the Fed. We got to crown new champions. Been behind the scenes, really trying to iron out what the two brands are going to be and what championships, new and old, are going to be on both brands. So these guys right here, of course, are management right now, the president and vice president, along with general manager Stone Cold. You know, they got to have another general manager coming up. So all the main storylines are still sticking around. I'm just going to put together this tournament as an ultimate highlight reel. Using a lot of stock footage, guys, here, so bear with me just a minute. But the TWFC roster is completely just ginormous. It's a huge roster, so that's why we have to have two brands, a lot of championships. Everybody's got to have something to do, and we're working hard on that. So another thing that I've always done with my feds is used figure years. We've only been around four, maybe five months, and we've got in so many events, so many storylines. But basically, in figure time, we've almost completed a whole year. I like to do at least, bare minimum, two WrestleManias a year to keep the big shows coming, to add the history to the Fed. So basically in the figure world that we're watching here, a whole year has almost passed in TWFC. That's why we like to pump out the events, keep the action coming. So at this point, I'm rambling guys while I'm using stock footage, just basically trying to make sure that everybody's on the same page, everybody's caught up, everybody knows how we do things here in TWFC. You'll always have nonstop action coming, but time is sped up in our world. With that being said, I want to give a major shout out to everybody that's been supporting us, liking, commenting, doing whatever you got to do to keep TWFC hot. We are a fairly new brand, but we plan on continuing harder than ever going into the future. Here we go with some breaking news. Mick Foley was announced as the second general manager for the other brand. It was all smiles backstage as they made tweaks to this tournament. But Shane McMahon and Charlotte were not very happy about the announcement at all. But anyways, the TWFC Grand Prix Tournament in all its glory, we're about to announce the participants starting with the American Dragon, Brian Danielson, and Willer Yuta, the two men that were supposed to be in the unification match. One half of the tag team champions, Dax Hardwood. Eddie Guerrero, Latino Heat himself, returning to TWFC for this tournament, and look at this announcement. I've waited a long time to bring some cowboy shit to TWFC. I'm only here for two things, to kick ass and drink whiskey, and I'm almost out of whiskey. It's been a while. Maybe we cross paths in this tournament and duke it out for old time's sake. Hangman Adam Page returns and CM Punk, both men confirmed. How about Japanese legend Jushin Thunder Liger? Chad Gable, a former U.S. champion, enters the tournament. Shinsuke Nakamura. How about AJ Styles, the phenomenal one? Orange Cassidy is entering the Grand Prix tournament, and look at this. It looks like the Judgment Day has gotten back together. Finn Balor will be representing them in the tournament. They said AJ Styles was holding them back. They're back together. It seems like no matter where I go, people look down on me. I'm sick of being called lazy or a wasted talent. When nobody back here knows what the fuck I've been through, I love this business. I'm not just here for a paycheck like some of these guys. So this is it for me. My dream is to become a world champion. I don't know. 
I'm going all out for this Grand Prix. It's do or die for Eddie Kingston. Eddie Kingston letting his intentions be known. How about Kazuchika Okada entering the tournament? Intercontinental Champion Sami Zayn, former New Japan Intercontinental Champion Naito entering the Grand Prix Tournament. Matt Riddle makes his return to TWFC and formerly Cassius Ono, Chris Hero entering the tournament. Kyle O'Reilly, we haven't seen him in a while. Blackpool Combat Club member Claudio Castanoli and former TWFC champion Cody Rhodes makes his climb back from the bottom hoping to get to the top. Olympic hero Kurt Angle entering the tournament. John Moxley has declared for the tournament and that provoked the ring general Gunther to enter this tournament. What a stacked tournament, ladies and gentlemen. Last but not least, the TWFC champion let his intentions be known as he looks to regain undisputed status. I can't wait to see how disappointed you all are when you realize this entire tournament was for nothing. Just for me to once again become undisputed champion. Hey, Evan, just saw where you had signed up. You do know that we've made some tweaks, right? Tweaks? At some point throughout the tournament, every title will be on the line. So while trying to become undisputed again, you could lose that TWFC championship. What? Are you kidding me right now? Don't blame the messenger. Have a nice day. Big news dropped right there. The TWFC Grand Prix Tournament will not only crown new champions, but it will also sort out all the championship divisions here in TWFC. Ladies and gentlemen, coming up next, the TWFC Grand Prix.